Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And uh, this is Shabby as always. Um, we're going to go to our single player world, the survival mode new world of awesome. Alright, let's um, go on in there. I believe we are where we left off last time. I uh, cleaned up the room a little bit. And... Uh, was basically getting uh, everything kind of marked out for the way I wanted to do this. Just like that. Alright. Just like this. Um, I was thinking I need to close this up. Here, let's put that right there. Like that. Like so, that, like that, like that. All right, now we'll close it back up, and it should look fine on the other side. Yes. Oh, there was some stuff. I don't necessarily have to always go get the stuff, but I like to get the stuff. It's kind of a waste, but sometimes with dirt and and, and cobble, it's kind of like, why do I have that in my inventory? Eventually, you'll, you'll see it. It turns into that. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to put a wall right here, I believe. Just like this. Um, Alright. Um, put that there. Right there. Uh, get rid of this. That. Yep, do that. Alright, that's looking like the spot and I can pull this wall over here like so alright I am gonna put that there oh did I run out? ah oh, it's more alright put that there and that there just like that that's looking good alright I'm gonna go down here and do something real quick grab this iron and I got eight sand I'm gonna throw in there now when you cook sand down, as many as you know, um, you get glass. So yeah, that's what we're gonna get. We're gonna turn our cook our sand down into some glass. Alright. Let that finish. Let me uh put some of these things away. Still gotta put our bed down. Yeah. Um some seeds. Put that uh iron up. Emeralds. Um I like emeralds there. Um, yeah, I'll take a couple building blocks with me. Oh, yep, we need the glass. We need the glass. We'll take half of it right now. That's fine. While we're waiting on the rest of it. Alright, yeah. Let's put this glass there. Let's give it some, uh, let's give it some light in here. Like so. Alright, and now... Uh, we will, oh, you know what, I gotta tear up this floor. Alright. Let me, yeah, let me get that glass and some, uh, you know what I really need. Hmm. You know what, I'll, I'll do that later. I'll, I'll uh, redo the floor later. So, um, just right now, let's take this, um, glass back up here. And we'll uh, do this. Like so, I'm gonna tear out this floor in here. I, you know, I might leave the regular stone. That always gives it a good, uh, good highlight. So, uh, all right. That's looking good. Alright, let's throw our bed down. That's right. Um, over here, I was going to have some chests. Kind of over there, a little private type thing. Maybe, I don't know. I might I might move it, but, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm going to. Let me go do one more thing. Uh, wait, no. Here? No, there. Nope. There, there. Right there. Oh, there it was. One, two, three. 
Well, so one, two, three, one, two. That's fine. Let's get some wood real quick. Alright, and oh, that's right, that's what I want to do. Put that back. Nope, stop that. Alright. We will take those sticks. Two things I wanted to make. One was a bow for you people. Show you how to make a bow. That's the configuration right there. It's three sticks and three pieces of string to make yourself a bow. Alright. And another thing was a, oh, it was three sticks diagonally with a two string. Make yourself a fishing rod. Alright, these are two tools I'm going to use in this episode. Let's grab our arrows. And you know what, let's go ahead and make some more arrows. So I can show you all that. Put a flint above a stick, above a feather. And you make yourself some arrows. All right, let's put those uh, feathers back. All right, and I just wanted to do this just to make my house look a little bit better by making another bed. All right, and I'm gonna put it down right there. All right, so I got kind of a double bed. All right. Wait until morning. Here we go. Morning time. On our beautiful world. Alright. Let's go on down here. And, uh. I believe we've done most of the things. Let's, um. Put back up our supplies. Like so. We've got 30 arrows, 15 torches. Alright, I think that's good enough to go outside and do some fishing. Oh, see a guy. Oh, no, guy. Oh, my God. Oh. Woo. Glad that was recorded. All right. Oh, all right, there we go. All right, let's do some fishing. Let's fish this guy out of the sea over here. Hey, guy, come here. Yeah, come here. That's right. She's dying in water. Oh, got to kind of worry they're behind you, too. Oh, back up. Back up. There he went. Did he drop anything? I'm going down here. Let's see. Bottom of the sea. Alright. I think we're okay, everyone. I think we are okay. Let's put some torches down here around our uh, around our little farm. That's not too bad of an idea. Just get a little bit lit up over here at night time. Just like so. Alright. Gonna have to make some more torches and go coal mining again. That always happens. Um, I'm not really gonna harvest these cocoa bean pods, but they look nice, don't they? Alright. Plenty of wheat. I'll come back and get that. Oh, fishing. Yep, yep, fishing. Showed you what the bow and arrow could do, so. Here's fishing. You wait for it to uh, bob under the water. And then if you right click to reel it, it's right click to throw and right click to reel back in. So if you throw it and then you see it bob under the water, you might catch yourself a fish. Um, I once read you're more likely to catch a fish while it's raining at night or something like that. So I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems like it might be true. I don't know. It does seem kind of kind of logical, but you never know nowadays. Ah, almost caught a fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. There it went. Yeah, did you see it bob down into the water? 
Man, we got ourselves a fish. We gotta cook it up, though. Which is terrible, I mean. Shouldn't have to cook it up. I, uh... I, uh, I like, uh, tuna. So, anyone that understands that, understands it. Yes, you don't necessarily have to cook the fish. Um... <laughs> do 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 gonna fish all night all right do 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 I'm waiting I'm trying to catch some fish everyone with the rest of the, oh, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is come on man you gotta pull back on the line a little you know Wiggle the, wiggle the line, and you might catch one. If this were trout fishing, that would be true, but it's not. This is, this is a 64-bit fishing. Or at least that's what it looks like. Um, this game takes some serious, serious computer to run it. Just, just to let you know. It does take a pretty good computer to run this game. Um, you you can run it with a with a crappy computer, but I mean you basically have to turn like everything off, like as far as like the visual settings and stuff go. Now look at that! Isn't that a nice room that we've built here? I'm gonna go get that sand out of the way, but yeah, now we've got access to like a little bedroom and our workshop and enchanting areas down here. I like that. It's looking, it's looking really nice. It's looking really nice. Um. Yeah. So let's go. Uh, I guess we're going mining. Oh, I didn't put all my stuff away. Here we go. That's what we need to do. We just need to go put all this stuff away in the chest. The spider eye and the string goes there. Um. Ooh, some more gunpowder. Need to, I guess, cook up our fish. Some coal. Throw that coal in there. That's right. Um, be careful while right-clicking on stuff with your bucket, because that'll happen. You know, and put out all your torches on the floor. Stuff like that. So, yeah. Alright. We are going to... I'm gonna put away the fishing rod. Sorry, everyone. I'm gonna put it away. And I am gonna. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take my bow and arrow with me. I'm gonna take the bow and arrow with me. This is happening. Alright, let's go ahead and grab. Let's say that many coal. About one, two. About two. Break it down. Half it. Break it down in the sticks to make more torches and put away those sticks all right let's go mining for some more coal and stuff this is minecraft so expect me to do a lot of mining how about that how about this how about that ravine that's right I was going to show you um, if any time you want to and you want to get down into a ravine and you're willing you can um, you can basically do this make put your water source block well that did work but I was starting to freak out put your water source block down and then all the water will flow down and basically you can uh, swim down it and then by holding spacebar you can swim back up it to get back up to back up to your ledge so it's kinda like a good way to get up and down from really high places you can also use water bucket to work your way up if you're down in one of these things you can use a water bucket to work yourself up the wall um so yeah let's uh keep continuing on our uh, mining expeditions I'm just gonna go all out and gather a bunch of supplies and I think we were gonna go this way yes this way the way we haven't been 
and if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, we might be able to get over to the ravine from here somehow, but we'll see. We'll see where this where this path takes us. Alright. Um, something interesting to talk about. Another place. Um, when I was younger, I wanted to move to Hawaii. And I'm pretty sure some of you can imagine why. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why didn't you go? And the, the half story to that is somebody else was going to go with me and they um, they passed on and um, I kind of got a little discouraged to go even though I'd already sold like most of my things and stuff you know so I mean I was I was ready to get out of there but um, I, uh, I ended up staying where I was and then I told you people I uh, went to community college so I mean um, I've always wanted to go to Hawaii, you know, and I will. I will one day. I know I will. But, um, I'm going to, um, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to Hawaii one day, that's for sure. But I don't know when. I'm going to, I'm going to finish college first and stuff. But I will surely take a trip to Hawaii. Um, I really love pineapples. It's one of my favorite, like, you know, foods. Um, also, um, I guess, yeah, like, awesome things are in Hawaii. Really, really awesome things. Um, I've never really surfed. I, I don't know if I'd really like surfing. I know that I would probably like snowboarding. So, um, yeah, I might do that sometime. Um, let's eat a little food. And I wanted to show you guys a trick. Now, here's the trick. You got some gravel, right? Some some, some uh, block, you know, it's going to fall gravel and sand, right? You can basically put a torch down, like so. And the torch acts as if, um, I think it's like it's transparent, but it also acts like there's something there. And basically what will happen is, is if you destroy a block that's holding up gravel, the gravel will fall and then the gravel will break. So if I mean, right, so there you go. Instead of you having to carve all the, the gravel by yourself, so to say, you can just uh, put down some torches and then um, the gravel will fall and break on your torches. So that's pretty convenient, you know, and I figured I would tell you people about that so um, that's one thing all right let's keep on mining let's keep on mining here's some good stuff some uh, iron start from the back I do and then pull back towards me all right, and then we're going to put that. And yeah, this episode is just going to be a lot of uh, digging, because that's what you'll do. You'll do this. Eventually, I will show something cool. Um, I'm still debating whether or not to show you guys every minute of gameplay. But I sometimes feel that I need to, because this is what you'll do. This is exactly what you'll do, have to do. So it's kind, of, it's kind of a tutorial. It's kind of a tutorial. And for those of you that know how to play already, um, thanks for watching because you don't you already know all this, don't you? But um, some people some people like to watch, and I, I make people laugh sometimes. I'm sure. Um, probably laughing at me, not with me, but that's okay. That's okay. To each his own. Um, just gonna keep digging, looking for diamonds, looking for supplies and stuff like that. I uh, will just keep on digging. Just gonna keep on digging till we break this pickaxe. That sounds fine by me. Hopefully, we'll find some more diamonds by that time. Hopefully, I'm just, I'm just a hoping. 
And I'm sure we will. I'm sure we'll find some more diamonds. I'm sure we will. We have to, right? Oh! Oh, oh, oh. that was... Whoa! Little goo guy. Come on. Come in here, guy. Now this guy. This guy right here. This little goo guy. Um, he doesn't really hurt me, I don't think. Not this guy. No. The bigger ones, they hurt you. You gotta be careful around them, but... These guys, these are little... They're cool. I just... I thought it was a creeper gonna explode on me for a second. Um... Yeah, um... Basically, if I had... I, I really need a wooden sword, and if you had a wooden sword... You can, uh... Kill him, and he'll drop even more goo balls, and, uh... Or slime balls, I'm sorry. I call them goo balls. That's fine. Um... Yeah, they'll drop a bunch of slime balls, and you use slime balls for a couple cool things. There's some lapis. All right, we found ourselves a cave. This episode won't be too boring. We'll run into some danger. There's some uh, redstone. Let me get that. Anything? I like to. Yeah, I usually like to dig at the end of the cave. Like you know, if the cave comes to an abrupt halt, you dig through, and there's even more cave, right? Now, don't trap yourself in a corner. But, uh, yeah, I think I know what I'm doing. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, come on, guy. Oh, they're all, oh, they're all over me. They're all over me. Surrounded. Oh, a guy came from back this way, didn't he? I bet he did. I bet he did. How about that? Oh, be careful, everyone. Be careful. Where are they at? I know they're everywhere. They're everywhere. We won't have a repeat of creeper, creeper time. Oh man! All right. Oh, there's a skeleton. No skeleton. Oh, he almost shot me down into the lava. Don't shoot me into the lava. Don't do it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can I swim? Swim. Swim, Jim. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, I got my my bow, too, bro. All right. Come on, guys. Oh, man. This is getting intense. I feel like I'm playing Hunger Games. Um. Yeah, we're just going to keep running through here, placing torches and stuff. about to say what's up with that spider this guy oh it's a bad zombie he's got chainmail armor on I to run away from him hey guy <laughs> I did a double deuce on you didn't I you gotta go gotta go hey the other kind of mushrooms I need those Alright, let's work our way back out. Gather supplies simultaneously. Kill this guy. Come on, guy. Alright. Yes! Oh, yes! Chain chest plate. Ah. Uh -huh. I will be putting that on my wall of awesome. Wall of awesome. Chain chest plate. You guys seen it right here. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, hold on. I'll grab this lapis. Grab this lapis. Maybe not get blown up on the way out. Maybe not get blown up on the way out. Oh, there's some diamond right there, man. I gotta go for it. I got to. Because I'm crazy. Crazy. I gotta go for it. Oh, there's some more diamond. I gotta go for it. Cause I'm crazy, man. Oh man. Come on, give me that stuff. Is that it? Let's say it better not be it. I'll be mad. Anything else? Nothing. About there, nothing. One torch. Where are we at? Alright, now we gotta work our way back out. 
Oh, there's some. I'll grab all this. Follow the torches. Follow the torches. All right. Follow the torches. Back this way, wasn't it? And there was this diamond over here. I remember seeing diamond over there. Watch this. Just like that. Build a little stepping path. Oh, build a little stepping path. Come over here. Is that it? Just, just the one. Oh well. It's good enough for me. All right, let's get back up. Let's get back. Back this way. I'm pretty positive. Yep. That's where I killed the zombies. Oh god, here comes another guy. Oh, come on, guy. Come on, guy. Alright. Let's go back down here. We went in pretty far, people. We went in pretty far. Didn't we? It's pretty dark. Alright. Let's go on back with our loot. This has been pretty successful. I'd say. Gathering some supplies. Alright. Going back upstairs. Alright. Let's see what we got. We got a few things, I'm sure. Um, let's go ahead and here to our workshop. Let's put away our. I'm sure, we've got plenty of cobble for mining. And, um. Dirt and gravel. Let's put away all our mob drops. My. Well, you know what? I'm gonna put this bow here. Uh, skeleton, drop that bow. Um, rotten flesh. That can technically go in food or mob drops. Let's, let's put that in food. You know what? No, let's put it in mob drops. It'll be our spare food if we ever, for some reason, have no regular food. Um, put away our redstone. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. Check this out. You take your redstone, and then uh, you, um, I'm trying to do the thing, right? Like that. You make a red block of redstones, man. And then you can break it back down. But these, these blocks look amazing. They're like the... The the the, uh, the version of the blue. Look at that, man. That is so good. That is so good. All right. Finally got a good way to store up redstone, and they also act as a uh, signal, or I mean, uh, like a torch, a redstone torch. For those of you that don't know, I'm just gonna go ahead and play around a little bit. This is redstone torches and redstone wiring and stuff so if you put down a torch you can send a signal through and it will go so far you know and then uh, also as well these um, blocks just came out and they uh, send a signal and you can invert torches on them and stuff and that is really cool and really neat and I really I really can't wait to do some cool building with you guys and and show you all some of that stuff well all right everyone i think that's the end of the episode